Hey Senpai, it's your Kohai. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Kohai's collection. Today we're going to do a holiday themed figure. This is our Rena Girlfriend's Chizuru 1 6 scale by Hakori Musume. This figure has MSRP of 15,980 yen before the pre order bonus, and it is the Santa Bikini Day Fumoko version. This roughly translates to soft and fluffy Santa Bikini. Another fun fact about this company is that they usually make figures with silicone parts. Now we only own one figure from this company, which is the coconut with the silicone pants, and I think that figure is a decent quality for its price point. So I'm interested to see what the quality of this figure is like. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the box. The very first thing that we notice about this box is the very large display window which is very nice because we can see what the figure actually looks like, as well as what accessories come along with it. As we go around the side of the box, we notice a holiday theme with little stars and little bows and pictures of the prototype figure. All of the writing is in Japanese, so I can't read it. However, I'm excited that they use the very nice cardboard. Now, without further ado, let's unbox this figure. Here's a look at the inner packaging. This figure came with no instructions. And I clearly needed more direction because I was on the struggle bus real hard. I am directionally challenged and so I kept putting pieces in the wrong places and it took forever. Initial impressions, you can't really tell in the video, but this box is made out of paper, which gives it a more realistic look. The unfortunate side to that is that the paper is not heavy enough to hold the figure by itself, forcing us to use this big ugly plastic base. We at least have these pretty ribbons to try to hide it, but ultimately in my opinion it detracts from the figure and takes up space where you could display other figures next to it. In my opinion, I would have rather paid a thousand more yen to see them either make a nice acrylic base or they could have done one of two things. They could have gone ahead and made the box out of plastic, like with Native's Gift Box Girl, or to keep the box paper, which I do prefer, made a metal square insert to put inside of the box to both weigh the figure down and hold it up. Other than that, they actually used fuzzy material for the outfit as well as real ribbons. I really appreciate that they mount the hat via magnet since it's the easiest way to secure the hat without leaving a hole or a stud. Therefore, you can display her with her hat on or off. Regarding paint quality, the only shading in this figure is in the red tips in her hair and potentially the dimples on her back. The only hand painted accessory on her outfit are the little bells, which only have a little bit of paint bleeding. The rest of her outfit doesn't have any paint transfer since it's obviously just a piece glued in. Unfortunately, our figure actually has glue marks on the side of her hip and on her hands. It doesn't seem like the paint used for her skin tone was applied evenly, since when we get down to her feet, it just kind of looks like a shiny plastic. I really like the paint that they use for the balloons, since it's a shiny pearlescent paint, which mimics how shiny a real Mylar balloon would be. The decal on the box is actually done very well, and the snowflakes also have a shininess to them. The bow on the box has a nice pearlescent paint, but the rose is just one shade. When it comes to modeling quality, in regards to her hair, the only piece that's added in is her bangs, and they did a decent job of hiding that. In general, her hair sculpt isn't super detailed, but it is nice and flowy. There are several seams in her outfit, mostly here on the arm straps. I do like the fuzzy piece, but when you look at it for too long, it just kind of looks like it's glued on top of everything. Although that could 
pretty reminiscent of actual Santa outfits. Our back and legs have a detailed sculpt, but we tend to lose those details as we go down to the fingers and the toes. In this figure's face, her mouth actually looks really good, and the printing of her eyes is centered. And I actually forgot to mention that she doesn't really seem to have any blush on her face. When looking at the balloons, we see all of these nice dimples and ridges, and the seam where the two halves of the mold come together. But this is what an actual mylar balloon looks like, so it works in this instance. The box looks nice because it's actual folded paper, and the bow on the box has a decent amount of detail, but it starts to get clunky when you get to the rows. We can see this little chibi artwork over here, but I don't really think we can compare this artwork to the figure. I believe the figure is loosely based off of an official Doki Makara of her in the same outfit in a similar pose. But this is one of the only figures that looks like her in my opinion, so they did a really nice job of capturing the character's essence. This pose for the figure has a lot of movement in it. It's not static, it's very dynamic. The hair and the outfit are flowing in the wind. You can even change the pose to a certain degree by rearranging the bows or the lid. Overall, this figure captures her tsundere personality. It's very cute. Uh, depending on the person that you are, you might find this figure a little bit more lewd than others because her top is falling off. It's not cast off, but compared to the rest of our figures, I would say it's very cute. And with that, let's give her a score. Starting with the box, it's made out of sturdy material, has a large window, ample graphics, and a theme that makes sense. So to me, it's above average, and I will give it a 4 out of 5. Moving on to production, starting with paint quality. There's virtually no paint transfer, but there's also no shadowing on Chizuru herself. And therefore, I would say she's below average. But when we make it to the balloons, we have a nice metallic paint, and the print on the box is above average, so we'll meet in the middle and give her an 8 out of 15. Looking at modeling, there's a lot of detail in her back and her legs, but we start to lose those details as we get to her fingers and toes. There's also many seams in her outfit, and flashing throughout the figure. So I would say, again, Chizuru herself is below average. But when we look at the modeling of the balloons and the box, I would also say that's again above average. So we'll meet in the middle and give her an eight out of 15. For the base, again, we see this kind of dichotomy where the creativity of the box, I would say is above average, but it's also resting on this ugly plastic base that I would normally give a one. So I will give it a six out of 10. Moving on to artistry with 2D versus 3D. This figure captures the character's personality, but not quite her entire essence. And that she's usually drawn with blush marks, which adds to her tsundere nature, but that's not present here. So we're going to give her an eight out of 10. Her pose is very dynamic and animated with lots of flowing pieces. So it gets a 10 out of 10. Her face is modeled well, her eyes are centered, she has a defined nose and lips, but she's missing her signature blush. So she gets a seven out of 10. This figure is very moe, she's embarrassed, it's very adorable. But once again, what she's missing and what would have elevated this figure is her blush that adds to that tsundere, koi nature. So she gets an eight out of 10. Moving on to value. Objectively, this figure costs 15,980 yen and weighs in at 336 grams, giving her a price per gram of 47.56, with an average score of three out of five. Subjectively, I think this figure is a good value for what you pay for. It is a one six scale with a creative base, and what actually hurts her here is that her base is made out of paper, making her weigh less. So I think that she is a four out of five. With playability and displayability, you can rearrange the balloons in any order that you want, and change their angles, as well as moving the box lid or rearranging the ribbons. So I will give her a four out of five. This brings the Chizuru Santa Bikini figure to a 70 out of 100. This puts the Chizuru figure a few points above Beefle's Laffy, which is a sentiment I agree with since Laffy costs 22,000 yen and is only one seventh scale. Chizuru costs 6,000 yen less and is a one sixth scale also, for the price point of Laffy, I was not impressed with the paint or modeling quality, but found it more acceptable of a 16,000 yen figure like Chizuru. 
Seeing these two figures displayed side by side, I think we can all agree that Chizuru has a little bit more presence. With that, if you're a Chizuru fan, I think this is one of the best figures out there. I'd be hard pressed to say you wouldn't like it. Well, that's it for today's video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. You can find all of our socials and ways of supporting the channel in the description below. Well, until next time, senpai, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.